so in this video we are going to see about the Eliza washer uh, which is which is the problem is uh, the water is not coming and let's see I'm going to the rinse mode and please insert the pump into the distilled water and press any key so this is a pump so this is a pump as you can see this is a 12 volt water pump and when I press the rinse button there is no water see so this is a problem let's see how to fix it I am Pravin Rajagopal and this is Mr. Biomedical. At first I I want to check uh, DC motor so I'm removing the connectors so sometimes the bad the bad connectors will be making this problem but in this case the connector is fine and we'll check the output of the DC here this pin as you can see after fixing the probe into the connector the voltage will have to be 12 volt and let's see yes 12 volt is coming so voltage is good so now I'm having a doubt in this uh, connector so let's remove the connectors and see if wires are fine or not so I guessed it already uh, one wire is, uh, came up from the pin so we should resolder this into the pin and we can see whether the DC pump will work or not. Now I soldered this wire into the pin and everything is good. Now, now again I'm checking whether the water will come or not. So let's press the rinse button again. If the water is coming, the water will be coming uh, in this stage is, uh, itself. Now, in this case, water is not coming yet. But we found a problem with the DC connections and we rectified that. Now let's start with a wash. Let's press the start button and uh, this is a strip count. And we have only one one uh, row of uh, uh, cuvettes. So let's see. As you can see, there's no water, but machine is working good but water is not coming so what will happen is sometimes uh, the tube is twisted or pinched so at that time it won't work the water will not come out 
let's see if the motor is working good or not now we'll check if the motor is working or not so i'm going to switch it, in, switch it on now you can see the motor is spinning that means it will pull the water out but still we are not getting the water into the machine so what it could be let's go to another method of finding why water is not coming now water it Okay, let's see. I already told you in this uh, this pipe should not be pinched or twisted at any moment. If you have a twisted or pinched wires, the water will be not coming to the machine. So now it's ready for. Work. I remove the pinched one and then connect it properly. And now let's check whether it was, it is working or not. And yes, what is coming now? Now the main thing is uh, seven needles have to clean this seven keywords. So here we have uh, seven keywords. So it will go uh, go inside and clean all the all the keywords. If it doesn't, we have to clean it with a needle or something because it will it may get blocked inside. So. Let me check. As you can see, that one is not. Uh, giving any water to the quits so that might be a uh, block or something inside that uh, that can be easily removed so once we remove the block it will work properly Now I removed the needle from the machine and uh, set that one and we will we'll release the block and uh, let's see. After remove the block, now it will work. That's it. Mm. So, it will work now. So, if you found this video useful, please subscribe okay. and let your friends know. See you soon with another video. Bye bye.